being on a large lake next to some glacial peaks, frigid cold winds blowing down through those mountain passes, that's a big, big challenge. This is not a controlled situation. This is a survival situation. That's a bonus for me. These are the 10 items that I am bringing with me into the bush. Item number one, sleeping bag. So having the sleeping bag makes it so that I'm not gonna need to spend quite as much time gathering as much insulation as I would without it. That's gonna hopefully keep me nice and warm. Next item I'm bringing is an emergency ration. So along the same lines of conserving energy, those food rations are gonna give me a lot more time to work on the shelter. I don't have to stress about gathering food right away. So along those same lines of building shelter, I'm bringing this saw. I had debated a little bit back and forth between bringing a saw or bringing an ax, and I just decided this saw is gonna be a calorie saver. I can cut large pieces of wood. So that is a crucial tool. The other tool that I'm bringing is this fixed blade knife. I don't really ever use a Leatherman. It wears on your hands a whole lot because it's not very smooth. So this fixed blade knife has a really nice, comfortable handle. And also, I got the extra thick blade, very crucial for my fire making. So really helpful for the fire making is going to be this paracord. I've done uh, bow drill without a parachute cord, but this is going to make it a lot easier. And for tying up my shelter, for any other projects that I might want to do, I have a longer ream of this bright orange paracord, and that's for when I set traps. And then I have a bunch of multicolored pieces of parachute cord for making fishing lures with, for all the different types of fishing lures that I might want to make. So speaking of fishing, I've got these fish hooks, and I've got multiple different sizes of pound fishing line. So the fishing is going to be very important. There's a lot of fish in this lake, and I have multiple size hooks and multiple size line so that I can get after all the different types of fish. So my cooking pot. This cooking pot is going to be very important when it comes to cooking my meals. I could just get some fish and cook it over the fire, but when you cook things over the fire, the fat is the first thing to drip off. As soon as it gets hot enough, it liquefies, it drops into the fire, and that fat is absolutely crucial. I don't want to lose a drop of that fat. The item that I've received the most flack for choosing is my water bottle. Yes, I could just use this cooking pot in here as my water carrying device and to drink out of, but then I won't have anything to drink out of when I'm cooking. Also, if I need to boil my water, I don't have to utilize my cooking pot for that. I can fill the water bottle up, stick that on the coals after taking the top off, and then I'll be able to boil the water in that. So for me, this water bottle seemed like too smart of a choice. Snare wire. Instead of doing the ferro rod, I'm going with the snare wire because I feel confident in the bow drill. And this snare wire, I'm going to be able to use it to snare some rabbits. But also, just as important, I can use this for making fishing lures. And I can also use this to make weights so I can cast my fishing line a little bit further. Last but certainly not least is my trusty bow and arrows. So I made this bow out of Osage Orange specifically for this show. And this is a 55 pound draw bow. I made it 55 pounds so that it had enough umph to punch through anything I might shoot at while I'm out in the bush. And I've got the two different arrows in here. I've got uh, my broadheads for any large game. And then I have these small game points for rabbits, grouse, uh, ducks, anything else that I might come across and hopefully have the opportunity to shoot at. So, wish me luck, people. I just might need it.